So in this video, we're going to discuss about some troubleshooting concepts. So before we get into the troubleshooting in detail, so one of the major tool which we use for troubleshooting is CDP. So we call it as a Cisco discovery protocol. As the name itself, you can see it says, uh, it's a Cisco discovery protocol means it is going to work only with Cisco devices. So which means this protocol is a Cisco proprietary protocol. So now by using CDP, what we can do is we can gather the information relating to our hardware and the protocol information about your neighbor devices. So it's a very useful tool, especially when you're troubleshooting a networks, which is going to provide uh, some information about your LAN topology, LAN or WAN topology, how they are connected. So it's, it's very useful and especially in the troubleshooting and documentation in your network. And let's say if you doubt your documentation, let's say in general, you may be doing some troubleshooting and you have a proper documentation diagrams and you just want to ensure that this device is connected to other device. So we use something called CDP. So in short, we'll be seeing some more CDP commands here. Like here you can see these are all the CDP commands. So CDP is a Cisco discovery protocol. It's a proprietary protocol designed by Cisco in order to help the administrators to collect the information about your directly connected devices. Okay, by using CDP, you can gather the hardware information, which is very useful for troubleshooting, especially. Okay, so let us see how it is going to be used and what are the commands we'll be using. Okay, so let's take an example. I'm going to take one diagram here, like by switch, connecting here. Let's take an example. This is your production network, and you have a user. Maybe there is a user called router one, which is connecting to my internet. So there is an internet connection to router one. And then there is a user sitting here in my LAN, which is using some IP address 192.168.1.1 is unable to access your network, maybe internet or any other server, which is present over there. Now, one of the basic step of the troubleshooting is you need to ensure that your connectivity is perfect. So the major part is connectivity, understanding how the devices are connected. So now in order to understand the connectivity, you need to have a proper documentation diagram like how the devices are connected and what are the names what are the ip addresses and all this information so now let's take an example so now if you want to go from your router here so here you may want to find the information like how the device are connected so i got a user here who is supposed to access some specific server somewhere here maybe on the internet so now the main task is to ensure that from your source to destination, you have to ensure that there should be a proper connectivity. So now in order to understand the connectivity, you need to have a basic information of how the device are connected here. So you can either refer your documentation scenarios, diagrams. Sometimes uh, even though you have a proper documentation, still you want to ensure that your devices are properly connected in that panel, like which port it is connected and what is a remote device and how they are connected. So you can probably get that information by using a CDP protocol. Okay, by default CDP will be running on all the interfaces. So now I can go to any one of the device and I'm going to just give the command called show CDP neighbors. So when I provide a command called show CDP neighbors, it is going to provide my information about my neighbor devices like uh, there is a device called switch one, whatever the host name you configured. And in case if there is an IP address for that switch, it is going to provide you the layer two information, layer three information, as well as it is going to provide you the layer one information. Layer one means like which port you are connecting. And then what is the remote port connected on that particular device? And if there is an IP address, what is the IP address? And also the MAC address. So it is going to provide a lot of information, even the hardware like uh, what is the platform it is maybe your 2960 series uh, maybe a switch model or it is a 3560 switch the exact model of that particular switch and also the ios version so all this information you can really get that information by sitting on my switch okay so that is a good thing about a cdp protocol but it only works with cisco discovery product the cisco devices that's one of the major drawback with cdp it works with only cisco if you have and the second thing is it is going to only provide the information about your directly connected interfaces directly connected devices i can say suppose there is a router here and if i go to this router here switch to 
and if i give the command called show cdp neighbor or whatever the command relating to show cdp this command is going to display only the information about your neighbor devices neighbor means directly connected devices so it is going to provide the information about your all the three routers because they are directly connected and it's going to provide the information of switch one and switch three but you will not get the information about the device which is not directly connected so that is a one one thing but still it is very useful to especially uh, to get the information especially to troubleshoot your connectivity so you may think that you, there is a problem like you may you may just think that router one is not able to communicate with router two so these two are not able to ping to each other these two connect interfaces now you need to find out exactly like one simple scenario which i generally use in my troubleshooting labs uh, whenever i do some troubleshooting the first step what i'll be doing is i'll go to this router and then i will let's say there is a router one which is connecting to switch two and then again connecting to router two and from router one to router two i'm not able to ping so the first thing i i should figure out what is the exact interface connecting on this particular ports now you can even see the cabling but it's going to be very lengthy procedure okay even you can follow the documentations whatever you have but still the documentations may not be accurate because we keep on changing the things so we can easily go to the switch and i can just issue one command called show cdp neighbor okay so when i give show cdp neighbor it is going to display all the neighbor information like here it is going to provide the information about router 1 what is the port i am using here and what is the port used on the router side f0 by 0 and what is the port used here and what is the port used on the router and also you can easily find the what is the ip address so based on that you can easily troubleshoot the things so cdp is a very useful uh, tool especially when you are troubleshooting so what i am going to do is so we'll quickly jump to the lab here so that's it that's all about cdp so you're going to directly jump to the lab in this lab i am going to take the same scenario here where i'm going to this switch and i have some directly connected switches i connected some different platforms i'm not sure which platform but i will verify and i'll try to gather the information about these devices and i already have some pre configured ip addresses on this routers ip addresses already i pre configured just i want to ensure that i should be able to see the ip address information also that's what we discussed and also i should be able to see what platform this router is connected and what is the port so all the things you can find in my diagram very clearly but still i just want to find some information and will implement these things with a basic cdp lab here okay so we are ready to start our lab here so the same topology i have a pre configured topology in my packet tracer which is similar to the diagram which i mentioned over there so i'm getting into this particular device console screen and i want to verify the neighbor information you can see this is the centralized router which is connecting to three routers and then again connecting to two different switches and i'm using some different models of switches here so i'm already inside the console screen of switch 2 and in my switch 2 i already have a connection from this side and also i have a connection here and these are all the devices which i'm connecting okay so the first command i can use is i can verify show cdp command just to c by default you can see cdp runs on every interface and it is going to send the cdp message for every 60 seconds and 180 seconds is the hold on time between them okay so now the next command i can use is already i have a pre a pre configured ip address in here so i'll be using 192.168.1.100 192.168.2.100 and 192.168.3.100 here which means in my routers I already did the IP addressing part. You can see in my lab it is written over there. I'm using 192.168.1.100, 192.162.100, and 3.100 here. This is the default IP addressing scheme which I'm using, which I pre-configured. I think so. Let me just go to the console screens of routers for verification. So I'm on the router one here. Show IP interface brief command. You can see. i have a pre configured ip addresses here so similarly on the router 2 also router 3 also i hope there is a pre i configured ip addressing so i already verified that particular part so if you want you can just go and check okay and then i connected some device here switch 2 and switch 3 here which are connected on port numbers 20 and 21 you can see over there 
these devices are connected on port number 20 and 21 as per my requirement here 2021 and 22 and I want to gather the information on these particular ports let us let us start with the lab here so the first thing I'm going to is give the command called show CDP neighbor so when I give show CDP neighbor you can see uh, some useful information here as per my diagram you can see the switch 2 is connecting to four devices so one device is router 1 router 2 router 3 which I already configured and they're connected on port number 1 port number 2 port number 3 so using this I can figure out the exact ports uh, what they are using for connectivity like according to this diagram I can clearly confirm that I'll try to figure out this one okay so as per that output now router 1 switch 2 is connecting on port number f0 by 1 connecting to f0 by 0 port here similar way I wrote already over there you can see f0 by 1 0 1 is connecting to router 1 2 is connecting to router 2 and 3 is connected to router 3 so similar information you can find here this is the local interface local interface interface of the router of the switch and what is the remote port the remote port of the particular device whatever it is and after that I got one more switch connected here on port number 20 to 20 which means I have a device called switch 1 which is connecting on port number 20 here and similar way I have one more device connecting on port number 22 and that is this device here okay so by seeing here I can I can get this information this is the basic information even I can see the capability of that device and that whether that device is a router or a switch you can see S, S represents switch whereas generally you'll find R R represents your routers here so now so this is actually a multi-layer switch here switch one I'm using a multi-layer switch 3560 series switch here which is a multi-layer switch which is uh, which is doing routing and switching as well so it's a basically switch capable and you can see the platform here I'm using router 2 is my 1841 series router and router 1 is my 2600 series router and router 3 is my 2800 series router so I'm I just connected three different platforms of routers here just for variation and similar way I connected another switch 2950 switch and 3560 switch if you want to have more detailed information you can you add a show CDP neighbor detail command and this detail command is going to provide you a lot of information like if I start with some of the output I can see the device capability switch and what's the platform I'm using and on which port it is connected so we're talking about this particular port here so we're talking about switch 3 here and then and then what is the iOS version which it is using and what's the duplex we are using between them and after that another device information like router 2 and what is the IP address of the device in case if there is an IP address it is going to show you the IP address of the router 2 which we already configured with a platform and on which port it is connecting our port and what is the remote port so our port is F0 by 2 it's connecting on router 2 F0 by 0 port similar way iOS information again so show CDP neighbor is going to provide you some detailed information like this so this is something very useful especially when you are troubleshooting so even you can verify show CDP interface command to figure out what are the interfaces running CDP and when you show CDP interfaces by default every interface of the switch or a router by default it runs CDP but if you want you can specifically disable on some of the interfaces now when you need to disable that is the first thing when you need to disable so we need to disable CDP especially on the interfaces which are connecting to some uh, remote networks or maybe connecting to some ISP networks or maybe connecting to some other branch offices or other networks which are not secure so on this specific interfaces we may really need or it is recommended to disable CDP on those interfaces because you know uh, as a security precautions we can just uh, disable CDP on these interfaces so that we can minimize the type of error attacks which can happen because you know by using CDP anyone sitting somewhere here can gather my information here so it's something recommended not in all the interfaces especially the interface external interfaces we can say one type of security so security point of view it's recommended to disable CDP on the outer interfaces and specific interfaces in the LAN uh, you can use CDP that's what trimming the CDP we call it as which is more recommended in case of production networks okay 
so we need to minimize the cdp use wherever wherever we need we can enable that and if in case if you don't require we can just disable the cdp also and to disable either you can use a command called no cdp run no cdp run is going to disable the cdp on all the interfaces or you can even specifically disable cdp on any specific interface like you can go to the interface and we can even define the command under the interface okay so even you can verify here when i when i disable on f0 by 20 i don't see any output similar output uh, you should see something like this but i don't see here because i disable cdp on f0 by 0 f0 by 20 interface okay so that's all about cdp cdp is uh, one of the let us quickly summarize the points here so cdp is a cisco proprietary protocol which is going to provide the information about your directly connected devices okay so which is very useful troubleshooting tool one of the basic troubleshooting tool you need to have especially when you when you need to analyze your topology for understanding how they are how the connections are made so if you want to verify cdp you can just use a command called show cdp okay and apart from that the major commands which we use is show cdp neighbors which is going to provide the information about your device id that name but the host name local interface and the remote interface and the hold on time and capability platform and port id information so if you want some detailed information like ip addressing and all those things you can even use show cdp neighbor detail command and you can you can also verify with show cdp interface to figure out which interface is running cdp which interfaces are not running cdp so if you want to specifically disable on that specific interface any interface we can use no cdp enable command on that interface and if you give no cdp run it is a global command it is going to disable cdp on every interface okay from troubleshooting point of view especially cdp can be used either to confirm or fix the documentation which are shown here on network diagram in general and even it is going to discover the devices and the interfaces used in the network so it gives a real uh, idea of the exact ports which are connected to these devices and one of the major drawback with cdp is it is going to provide the information about the only directly connected devices and that too if they are cisco devices because it is a cisco discovery protocol